Yeah, he was working the corners and a little bit off the plate, you know, and um, just making pitches when he had to, man. He's got really good stuff. You know, he can get that fastball up to 97, 98, and, and like you said, a wipeout slider that, you know, he can throw at any count, you know, that he likes to double up on us sometimes. And he just kind of kept us off balance all day, and we weren't, really, weren't really able to kind of get some momentum to you know, have that big inning against him. You mentioned the other day that this series felt like it had a playoff atmosphere. So you go head to head four games, you take two, they take two. What's your takeaway from the series? Hard fought series, you know, back and forth. Like you said, we ended 2 2. You know, we'd like to win all four, you know, obviously, but that's a good ball club over there that we'll probably see down the road. And, um, no, those are fun. Those are those are series you like to play, you know, when it's tough and, and they're scoring runs, we're scoring runs back and forth. So it's, uh, those are the fun ones to compete in. Aaron Boone was just saying in the press conference room that you guys have various ways of showing support. A couple times you're on base today, you gave the familiar four finger salute that everybody has done this year, but you also seem to do something that maybe mimicked hitting a hitting a dugout roof. Is that a supportive gesture for Gardner? Yeah, he's one of the leaders of this team, you know, and we do we do a lot of crazy things in that dugout when we get on base, you know, so uh, we're just showing support for him, man. He's one of he's, he's the leader of this team, so we're just supporting him with that. We're seeing a lot more of that. Is that going to be like the new um, thumbs down thing? It might be. I don't know. I know the fans out in right field were loving it with the roll call. I don't know if you saw Gardy's roll call. He gave him a little, a little, <laughs> a little dugout hit with the with the muscle up. So that was a good one. Now we're gonna. Yeah, it might be the new thumbs down. We'll see. We'll see. Aaron, you're a guy who doesn't say a lot to umpires. Pretty good reputation in terms of dealing with them. Are you concerned at all the way things have gone the last few days and some of the interactions that you guys have had in terms of long-term consequences or ramifications of you know, some heated incidents with them? With the umpires? Yeah. What are you asking there? You personally, you don't say very much. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the team has had some some issues with them. Yeah. Are you concerned about that carrying over to other series? Not really. We got a job to do, just like they do. You know, so that'd probably be a better question for them. You know, um, we got a job to do. We're gonna keep going out there and playing. It doesn't matter who's umpiring or or not. That's not our job. You know, our job is to go out there and you know win ball games here for the New York Yankees. So um, no, I don't think I don't think anything will carry over with that. The second base I'm saying to you after he did it there in the ninth inning looked like he came up and looked like he was laughing a little bit uh, I, just, I just asked him where they were headed next uh, just asked him oh, where you guys headed next he told me Texas and it's gonna be a hot one so I just said you know bring appropriate clothes he didn't <laughs> mention your your oh, not a word no. not a word yeah it's all great speaking of heading next you go to Oakland that's the closest major league city to your hometown what will that scene be like for you? Oh, it'll be a little crazy. A lot of family, a lot of friends out there, you know, but it'll be but it's going to be a good series, too. You know, Oakland's who's in the hunt right now for, you know, a little postseason run, and um, it's going to be a good one. So I can't wait to get out there and get some Cali air. Do you still remember your first batting practice, Oakland? I don't. I'll never forget that. Oh, yeah, I was so nervous. <laughs> This past week, you guys pulled ahead of Houston by a few games for the home field. Uh, they're very good at home. You're very good at home. You saw what happened in 17 where everybody won the home game. How big is that to you to beat them out? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You know, even though we're going down the stretch and we got a lead in our division, we're not going to stop. You know, we're not going to stop until, you know, last game, you know, 162. You know, we want to keep winning, and that's, that's big, you know, especially now. You know, you know how rowdy this place gets in the postseason and how crazy these fans are. And, uh, we love, you know, we feed off that energy, so we got to keep winning and, you know, make sure we, you know, keep that, you know, home field advantage through the postseason. Is it also because they're so good at home, too? <sighs> That's, I'm worried about what we're doing, yeah. How are you guys going to keep the momentum going when you go on the road? Because you've been playing so well at home, you split the series. And how are you going to keep it going on the road for a nine-game? Yeah, just, you know, we know what type of teams we're facing, you know, going up against Oakland. Um, Oakland and Dodgers and Seattle, you know, three good ball clubs right there. You know, especially that Dodger series is going to be like a um, maybe another postseason, you know, matchup right there. So it's it's going to be rowdy, and we're motivated for those. We can't wait. We want to play the best teams, and um, those are some of the best teams out there. So looking forward to it.